All right, how goes it, Drew Peoples, Peoples Collectibles? And got a quick little one here today. It is a single collector booster from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I uh, haven't been getting as much magic lately with Modern Horizons 3 right on the horizons. Uh, so funny. Uh, but anyway, yeah, because of that, I um, haven't put in as much uh, into magic lately and saw this. And was like, you know what? I really, yeah, I really don't feel like buying a full box, collector box of um, Thunder Junctions, but I do quite like this set. You know, let's let's just see if doing one pack real quick. Is this going to come to anything, or did I just, you know, burn thirty bucks? We'll see. We shall see. Spoiler alert: I probably just burned thirty bucks, but we shall see. A lot of cool cards in this set. You know, you got the big score, you got the prosperity post, the breaking news stuff. All right, so starting off with Void Ren. I mean, that's kind of cool. Dust Bowl. All right. I guess we're starting with all the rares and everything. Dune Chanter. Lands you control and land cards you own that are on the battlefield are deserts in addition to their other types. All right. Lands you control have tap. Add one mana of any kill. All right. It's a pretty decent little commander card there. Territory Forge with the, uh, the whoosh. I think I actually already have. I think I pulled the regular art uh, version of those already. So that's big whoosh. You know, if that was like the sword or something, that would have been bringing some. <laughs> Did I speak too soon? Did I really just speak too soon? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it was, it's not like the, you know, extended art sword, but my god, we got the foil sword of wealth and power and money right there. That alone, I, I haven't looked at the prices for this set in like weeks, but this was at least like 30 bucks um, a couple weeks ago. So that's a nice. And okay, I, don't know, I hate how they switch it up, you know, having all the rares and everything up there. I mean that's cool. So now we already know what we what we've done here. These are all the uncommons and everything. I mean there's plenty of these right not to to sleep on. I mean at least in limited, like almost all of these right here are um, pretty good. But yeah, I mean stuff like trash the town. Who knows? Some of these uncommons that are a couple bucks, like the foil versions, even though they're you know mass printed, are like you know at least like five bucks plus if it's a uh, pretty decent little card there. But uh, yes, yeah, speaking of pretty decent little cards, we uh, we did summon the sword and getting uh, pissed off about getting hosed with that forge because I'm pretty sure that's one of the few uh, big score cards that I have is, yeah, this Territory Forge um, regular art, not extended art. But yeah, this Dune Chanter, I feel like that's got to be something halfway decent. Um, the like the desert decks of of today year, uh, much better than what they had been in the past with all the the desert support in this set and and like Amonkhet and other shit. So yeah, that could be a pretty decent little little guy right there as well. And even you know without the whole desert part, I mean making your stuff tap for one man of any color is always pretty pretty nice. Well, thank you for joining me on burning thirty dollars. Turns out we didn't necessarily burn it because that sword is. Uh, Pretty nice, and watching the sword now being like five bucks uh, as of uh, the recording of this video, or by the time I get this up, we shall see. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you all next time. True people's people collectibles. Peace.